Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo, welcome back to Instruments of Destruction, and today, simply put, I want to mulch buildings. <laughs> so I was thinking of what kind of destruction vehicle should I build today, and then I remembered about these tree mulchers that basically turn trees into dust in a matter of seconds. Now my feelings about deforestation aside, I think that's a really cool machine, and uh, I want to do something that, well, basically does the same to buildings. So, to start with guys, I am going to build a base like a basic excavator base and then we're gonna we're gonna build the saw bit it's gonna be pretty intense so let's get right into it Let's see if this thing even drives. I'm curious to see if it even drives. Oh, not bad actually. That's great. That is awesome. Okay, well, we can keep building, I guess. I amped up the strength on the tracks just to see what's up. Oh, that's a lot better. Nice. That's much better. Good stuff. I'm excited for this. <laughs> well, I guess now we gotta start building the arm, guys. Gotta start building the arm, and then we're gonna build the, uh, the saw bit on the end. This is gonna be gnarly. Hmm. Well, guys, I'm trying to do something different here, you know? Because it'd be cool to have actual hydraulics or, well, in this case, just, you know, pistons uh, actuating the arms of this vehicle. But unfortunately, I don't think I can get the geometry to work. Even just these two pieces right here, you know, they're, uh, they're just ever so slightly off and I'm never going to be able to connect that up, unfortunately. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. But the dev did tell me that he's working on something that will make lining up these parts easier. But I think for now, we'll just have to go with good old power swivels. And that's okay. That's okay. We tried. I'm sure if I spent more time on this, I could likely get it to work. But at the end of the day, guys, it's not that crucial to the build uh, as long as it all works in the end, right? <laughs> Alrighty, I've got this basic arm system built, guys. Nothing crazy, you know, nothing special, but... Oh, boy, that is way too much when it's reinforced. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's 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 tone that down a little bit, sir. There you go. That's better. That's much better. Cool. I'm happy with that. But uh, basically, we're just gonna... We're just gonna build the saw bit now, guys. I'm just gonna... Boosh. Boosh. <laughs> Uh, worst excavator ever. Why did it fall on its butt like that? What the heck? <laughs> yeah, yeet. Perfect. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> is this actually going to be high enough? I need to make sure this is going to be high enough for some of these buildings, right? Uh, I don't think it'll be high enough for that one, unfortunately, but... You know, can't, uh, can't get all of them. I'm pretty sure they actually have helicopters that have these same, like, tree mulching bits on them uh, for the really tall trees. But I don't, uh, I don't think we'll be doing that today. That'd be cool, though. The reality of it is, a lot of buildings are taller than trees, right? So this will be more than enough for all the trees on this island. Uh, but, you know, buildings, uh, buildings can be quite tall. So we'll just do what we can, guys. We'll just do what we can. Yeah, see, this would be perfect for trees. Neo mulch still so fast. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, <laughs> I'm ready to give this uh, first version a try, guys. Let's see how it fares. Let's see if this thing tips over. I'm actually curious about that. Oh boy, relax. Oh, we need to add some power to our pivots there. That's for sure. Actually, what I'm going to do is I am going to reinforce these guys again. I forgot I added a bunch of weight to it now. So it probably makes sense to have all this reinforced so that it doesn't wobble around. And let's give that a go. 
Oh boy. Yeah, so I think we need more weight to start. <laughs> oh, jeez. Still not having a good time with lifting the arm up and down. Are they even going in the same direction is the question? That one's going in that direction. That one is going in the opposite direction. GG. <laughs> All right, let's give that a go again. Oh my goodness. Nope, nope, stop. Stop. Perfect. Look at this thing, guys. Flick all the saws on or all the saws on. Wait, what? Not all the saws are on. How is that possible? I selected all the saws. Oh, they don't like it when they're interfering. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. No problem. Now, I do want to add more weight to it because, well, frankly, it's just a little bit too tippy for my liking. Now, I had a comment actually say that I shouldn't be using the feet for uh, weight because, well, they're meant to be used for something else. But guys, they're the heaviest thing. I mean, aside from the, the wrecking balls, I guess, I could put the wrecking balls on the back and that'd be, you know, that'd be pretty heavy. That could work out, but that would look silly. You know, at least the feet don't look silly. They don't look out of place because even if you go to the, where is this? The heaviest block, the ultra heavy block right here. I guess we have the large roller. That's a big roller though, oh my goodness. So yeah, so for the size, you know, the ultra heavy block is the next one down at only 1000 kilos. And the ultra heavy foot is 1250. So I'm gonna use the heavy foot. I don't care what anybody says. Our center of mass is still in a very undesirable position, but what can you do guys? I could have doubled up on my base. I honestly could have done that and just made the base, you know, two layers thick. I could still do that. I have the complexity limit even. Uh, however, well, let's see how this works. I just wanna shred some buildings, you know? That's already better actually. That is already way better. Okay, now question is, how high can we actually, you know, shred a building here? Boom. This is probably as high as we can go. Let's start these guys up. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Let's start shredding some buildings. Do a little follow cam here. Oh my goodness, that's fast. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to maybe take this one on a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit differently first, like so. Okay, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Lower down. No. <laughs> Just shredding. Just shredding. I mean, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's definitely easier than just like smashing it. I'll tell you guys that much. Like that's that's certainly a fact. No. Yeah, like that that goes in way smoother, right? I bet I don't have to do anything really other than just uh, move this thing up and down. That's pretty impressive. Let's do another one. There's too many controls. No. Shred the building, shred the building. <laughs> just goes right into it, man. Just doesn't care at all. Oh yeah, I can do this too. I forgot I can move my whole uh, my whole platform around. Nice. Now it would be nice to have the feet actually uh, stick to the ground right about now. That would be a good idea to have. You know, use the feet for their intended purpose. I want to see if the rotation of the saws makes a difference. So now they're all spinning outwards. Let's just take this tower down. I don't like this tower. No. 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 Okay, that's struggling a little bit, but hey, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Let's take this building down too. I don't like it either. So right now it's pushing everything outwards. I wonder if sucking things in would work better. I'm gonna flip the rotation again here. So now if I press Y, that's right. They're all spinning inwards. Excellent. Let's try that. I don't know if it makes a difference, guys. I honestly don't. It all seems to work equally well. <laughs> Look at that. Just shredding, man. You know, not the most, like, visually wow vehicle, but it's good at its job. You know, it's, it's, it's doing what it was made to do. Now, I do have more complexity limit left over. Kind of want to add more of these things, you know? Actually, before I do that, before I do that, I want to see if using the other saws uh, would actually work better, the chainsaws, instead of the circular saws. Let's give that a try. That does look more menacing as well for some reason. Are they heavier? No, uh, I think they're definitely heavier. I think they're definitely heavier. Dude, that is massive. That is so much bigger than it was before. Oh boy, what are we gonna do? Press Y and shred stuff, that's what we're gonna do. Seemingly less effort required, guys. I'm not gonna lie, it uh, it seems to... Wow, they're definitely heavier. I definitely need to make a bigger base if I want to run these ones. Wow, that works so much better than the other, uh, the other saws, guys. Let's do this building. Oh, this thing's fast. Oh, this thing's fast. Why did I make it so fast? It's not an F1 car, it's a freaking excavator. Let's go. Dude, that just doesn't care. 
Okay, well, how big do I have to make this thing to shred a whole building, like, in one go? Like, I, I basically just want to shred a whole building in one go, you know? It seems like this is a quarter of... Amazing. Amazing. What a show. Encore. Encore. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I is dead. I think we all know what I need to do. I need to make this whole thing a lot bigger, and I need to be able to shred a building in one go. Let's beef up the base, let's beef up our saws, and let's cause some destruction. My goodness, would you guys look at this thing? It's massive. It's absolutely massive. And it still has a hard time driving around. Oh, I guess I had a shield somewhere where uh, it didn't want to be. But that's okay. Well, I am getting a good old 30 frames per second, but I guess let's try and use this whole thing. I've got 40 saws, guys. 40 saws. That's insane. That's insane. I tripled up on my boom here because I wanted it to look a little more realistic. You know, one tiny little single truss boom just would have been a little bit too uh, far-fetched, you know? And I did use a lot of the feet on the bottom because, well, they... They're good for, you know, weighing things down when you need, like, a half size as well. Uh, seeing as you can't put a full block underneath the tracks there. But I guess, uh, I guess let's just do what everybody's waiting for and destroy one of these buildings, guys. Let's start with the small one. Let's start with the small one here. I think my whole, like, area is big enough. Let's, let's line it up. Let's throw the saws on. Oh, what? What just happened? No! Oh, I, I accidentally hit my own creation! <laughs> this game provides so many forms of entertainment. It's, it's amazing. Now, obviously, when it spawns in, it's still a little bit heavy in the front. But we never really use it in that position, so I deem it a non-issue. Also, because I'm just out of places to put freaking weight, guys. Too much. Too much. It's just, <laughs> this, is not, this is not meant to be a real thing. Okay, so note to self, do not bring the saws too close to the actual creation because that is a big no bueno all right let's try this again i really hope it doesn't freak out again dude that was just ridiculous all right rolling up to this building and let's just lower this whole thing down oh my goodness it just oh no oh no i'm doing that thing i said i'm not supposed to do oh no stop <laughs> uh too close for comfort too close for comfort all right, let's do another one. This thing is just absolutely massive, guys. I can't even fathom driving something like this in real life. And as you can see, I even moved the cabin over because I didn't have the space for it. Oh man, because I needed to triple up on the booms. All righty, let's do this again. I'm gonna crush this whole building in one go and it's going to be fantabulous. Neil. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, that's too good. That's too good. We almost need some repelling magnets on the front as well. And I think that'll really seal the deal, you know? It grinds them down and it cleans up the area. Perfect, you know? The area is ready for a clean build. You can build a house on there. You can build whatever you want on there. Where the heck are these magnets? I don't think it's repelling. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the magnets. Something wacky is going on with the magnets. Maybe my computer is just not processing it, you know? All right, gonna see how fast I can destroy everything with this thing. I'm all set up, and the only reason I'm set up like this is because I'm gonna go for that left building first. It's a little too tall for me. A little too tall. But here we go, guys. Three, two, one, go. Go, you're so slow. You're so slow. Go. <laughs> I made this thing way too big. Okay, turn on the saws. And just crush every- wow, it just chews through it, guys. Zero care in the world. Love it. <gasps> it's- 
It sounded like a motorbike again. Oh my god. Vehicle speed 1,217 kilometers an hour at some point there. Like, what, bro? Well, that didn't work out. Clearly, my vehicle is not only mulching the buildings, but it's also mulching itself and the game and everything around it. <laughs> oh boy, that was, that was fantastic. Let's try that again. Three, two, one, go! I'm already moving, I don't care. This thing is so slow. <laughs> Alright, let's turn this on. Mulch away, little one. Mulch away. Mwahaha. Mulching. Nice. Nice, please don't yeet. Please no yeet. No yeetus. Okay, let's go forward. Oh man, we're already at like 20 seconds. I need to tilt this whole thing. Look at that. Oh no, here we go again. Oh boy, that it it happened again. Turn it off. Shut her down. <laughs> Shut her down. <laughs> it doesn't like that building. It really does not like that building. Well, we can just crush another one here, guys, I guess. <laughs> I think I built something a little bit too obnoxious. This would actually be cool to, like, airlift over a building and drop it onto the building, you know? That would be fantastic. All right, let's raise it up, throw them on, drive up to... Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> this thing literally implodes on itself. I can't, I can't help it. I can't do anything about it. I just- there's just way too many saws. I think the actual, like, chains get caught and yeet the whole creation. I don't know, man, but I'm certainly not helping with whatever is going on. I do like the cockpit on the side, though. The cabin? That looks cool. I don't even care anymore. We're not going straight on. Perfect. Done. Next. Next. <laughs> oh, man. Who needs a hammer when you literally have just a matrix of saws? Well, guys, what can I say? This thing is monstrous. I enjoyed building it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it destroy stuff. I definitely think that it could have, you know, uh, been a little bit... Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Ah, <laughs> amazing. I was going to say definitely could have been more exciting, but I think that was pretty freaking exciting. We just demoed a building in like mere seconds. <laughs> oh, man. I really wish I could build giant things in this game without having them be so tippy. But, you know, that's just on me. They even give you a ball, a red ball that shows you... Oh, wait, I can do this. I don't have to turn. Noise. Noise. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Just chewed all that up. That is fantastic. This is an epic mulching machine. I love it. Yep. 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 <laughs> But in any case, guys, let me know what you thought about this monstrosity in the comments down below. Give me some ideas for other destruction vehicles. I got a couple, but I'm always curious to hear what you guys have to say. And if you did enjoy the video, click the like button down below. Check out some of my other videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh my goodness. Let's see if this thing eats me again. Guaranteed it's gonna eat me again. It's gonna do it. This is my fate. This is my fate. I am the yeeted one. <laughs> I am the yeeted one! <laughs> Oh man, I'll see you guys later. This was epic.